Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. To start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning and autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. This video is a very important one because it involves the most notable hero in all of the Alpha Earth, above all else for that particular planet. And um, I just hope you guys are having a, a decent, like, January and such, and I hope you guys are able to tag along and such, and thank you if so, it's okay if not. I'm going to introduce three new characters to you guys. One hero, one villain, and one normal person, if that makes any sense. So if you guys bear with me, I'm going to introduce these to you, and I'll do as much as I can to make this work for you guys. And then, here's the first character, the hero. Quantum. Real name, Sharon Miller. Height, 5 feet 8 inches to 9 feet 10 inches. Weight, 143 pounds to 387 pounds. Stats, Hero, an Hyperion Survivor. Base, the Sky Fortress, New York, of the Alpha Earth. Intelligence, 2.5 brains to 5 brains. Behavior, flirtatious, cunning, and confident. She'll do anything to protect both all innocents and her destined lover. Lethality, extremely dangerous, but only in a fight or when angered. Weaknesses. Quantumite is the only thing that could officially kill her. Powers. She has flight, almost unlimited strength, freezing breath, high intellect, nuclear vision, and knows how to flirt with any man. She also gets a temporary bonus power for each month. Eyes deep blue, hair platinum white. Origin. One time, the distant planet known as Hyperius had launched a pod into space before getting knocked into its sun by the Ultramer, sending it to a small Illinois town in the Alpha Earth. Just so you know, the Ultramer is the ancestor of all the Mermians of the two Earths, like the main ancestor for them all. Later, a newlywed couple, known as the Millers, found a baby girl inside, which they adopted and decided to name Sharon. Years later, Sharon found that her parents had been murdered by a careless gunman, which ignited her powers for the first time. She then decimated the killer after finding out that she was in fact adopted. After being marked as a grand hero, Sharon decided to spend the rest of her life protecting all innocents from chaos and corruption, wearing a pair of glasses to help with a temporary undercover job at the New York news station. She would do all that she can to stop every criminal, and she soon fell in love with the news reporter Larry Dirks, who became the love of her life. Costume. She wears a variety of outfits depending on the scenario. Teams. Solitary. Leads the Alpha Trio and other heroes. Order of Inspiration. Drew Merckx as Ginormica and DC Superman. I hope that was comprehensible for you guys. I'm trying my best to make this work for you. Just bear with me. The next one is a villain with an interesting type of life scenario. Here it is. Raptor. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 6 feet, weight, 200 pounds. Status, villain, and ally of Spiker. Planet, type by typo. Base, Prehistora, mobile. Intelligence, Three brains. Behavior. Savage, relentless, and sneaky. He always enjoys getting back up. Lethality. Only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses, gunpowder, and being dwarfed. Powers. He has all the powers of a Deinonychus, along with the power to speak English and to summon all different kinds of raptors. He also sometimes wields an arsenal of ancient weapons. Eyes, bright red. Hair, vivid colored feathers. Origin. On the planet Prehistora, Raptor is an adult male Deinonychus who enjoys stalking, chasing, and the kill. After Spiker 
invited Raptor to help him kill Terrence and his allies. He and his packs were nearly successful until they were defeated by the mighty Argentine. Outraged that Spiker didn't tell him about Argentine, Raptor and his buddies attack Spiker until he apologized to them. Since then, Raptor would always try to read the fine print before doing any mission. Costume. He sometimes wears a set of prehistorian armor. Team Solitary with Spiker and other villains. It's origin inspiration, Raptors. To put this into context, Prehistora is an alien planet populated with two kinds of animals. Talking prehistoric life and human prehistoric animal hybrids. Raptor is, of course, a, uh, a Deinonychus that speaks English. Spiker is a human Spinosaurus hybrid. Terence is a human T-Rex hybrid. Argentine is basically the largest known, like, long-necked dinosaur to date, known as an Argentinosaurus, who speaks English, you know? So I hope that helps you with comprehension for that thing. And second mention, I hope it's comprehensible. The last one is going to be a normal, everyday person who still has a purpose at all. And here's the character. Just bear with me, please. Samuel Dixon. Real name? None. Height? 5 feet 8 and a half inches. Weight? 204.5 pounds. Status? Human. And owner of the New York News Station. Base? New York City. Default Earth. Intelligence? Three brains. Behavior? Willful yet cautious. He always enjoys heroes. Lethality? Lack thereof. He is simply a mere human. Weaknesses as above. Powers? He has pure innocence, along with having highly successful news reporting strategies. Eyes? Grayish blue. Hair? Silverish black and balding. Origin? Since he was a child, Samuel Dixon had always enjoyed the stories of heroes. By adulthood, Samuel went into journalism school, and he soon became the manager of the New York news station of the default Earth. Despite the tragic death of his nephew, who is also the soulmate of the heroic Heavy, Samuel is recently having some mental and emotional pride in life, so optimism. When Samuel was saved by a hero known as McKenna during one of her fights, he learned that McKenna was one of his own employees, making him enjoy heroes more than ever, alongside giving her a raise. Since then, whenever McKenna had to do her other jobs, and he will always give her and other inhuman workers permission. Costume. He normally wears formal clothes. Teams. Works at the New York News Station. Or his inspiration, Marvel's J. Jonah Jameson, but in the positive aspect. You know? I tried all that I can for this video in terms of making this work, and I hope I succeeded at all. I hope you guys have a fine rest of the January and such, and um, if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. And I've also been wondering something. Like, lately, I've been wondering if I should change it from one video every two weeks to one video every one week. If you guys truly want me to do that, then I will do it. It's just I hope that I could be able to keep track with the sequencing and hope I don't overshoot the, the scheduling, you know? So I, if you guys want me to change it to one video every one week, just tell me if you want me to, because I, what really matters is social recognition for my creations, and I just hope that there is some satisfaction for you guys in terms of the stuff that you've learned throughout the passing of time. And second mention, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. Hope you guys have a fine rest of your time and such, and until next time, in transmission.